Hey, update for the Laxum prototypes. Um, there were a couple of bodges, uh, but everything seems to work okay. Uh, there's, I'm not, I'm, I don't feel too great about the hot swaps in the multi position or multi switch position footprints. They still kind of rock a little bit, and I would like to have, uh, I would like to work up a build for a top plate and make that either a requirement or an option. I've used it for a long time, it, it works great. Uh, I just worry that when I transport it from place to place, that if I drop it, it's just gonna <laughs> like all the all of the uh, all of the switches are just gonna fly off, and then I'll be like in the middle of a parking lot, running around trying to <laughs> collect switches. You no, know, why can't I hold all these switches? So if you want to wait until there's a case, uh, just give me a little bit of time. I, I have a good method I think I'm gonna use to to work up a case uh, or translate a case technically. Uh, but if you want to solder in position, if you just want a, a low profile uh, Laxum, low, low profile switch Signum style Laxum, uh, go right ahead. I think I've got three, three prototypes left. Uh, and they need, and they'll need a couple bodge wires and you'll probably have to uh, make sure you put a case on the bottom of it to cover, cover up those bodge wires. But besides that, it's, it's fine. It's, it's actually quite good. Um, it's a slight problem for me though because I'm testing it out with uh, uh, the the grid on the left side and then the uh, the vertical stagger on the right side, so it's a little weird. <clears throat> I also flub the uh, flub the three key with the E often because I don't I'm not used to having a three key there, but practically that just means that I'm overshooting the E key, which is. Uh, overshooting is, is overproduction. It, it is waste. It's overreaching. So I must train myself. Uh, I did also want to uh, to do some gaming on that. I, I realized after I made the left side grid and the right side uh, <clears throat> vertical stagger, I was like, well, actually, if I do this, <laughs> I'll be able to change this out. Like, I can... Uh, I can use it for gaming because it feels it feels very different to game on a grid style than a vertical stagger. But I can feel the reach though, so it's 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 still a little weird. Like we're transitioning between the two items, you choose either the grid layout or you choose the vertical stagger layout, and then you put your hot swaps in those positions, <clears throat> and then you can hot swap out your switches all you want. Yeah, I have one drive that's handling my Linux install, um, Linux install, it's my OS install, <laughs> and I would like to repartition and see if I can get Windows installed on its own partition, but I'm also, I've, ne I've never actually installed uh, Linux first and then Windows se second, I assume there is a way for Windows to say, hey, it looks like you've got an existing partition. Did you want us to free up a little bit of space there and then install there and then do a boot, like all friendly-like? <laughs> but I'm, I'm equally suspicious that they would just, <laughs> okay, we're installing, <laughs> just burn up the other, <laughs> the other partition. <laughs> oh, did you have something installed over there? That's so weird. <laughs> It wasn't a Windows box. We couldn't. We we didn't even know what that was. Bill Gates did not approve. <clears throat> I also uh, have the potential. I like, I anticipate the possibility of being able to. Um, well, that's kind of interesting. So I uh, on my first computer. <laughs> On my first computer that I dual booted, I created a uh, <laughs> a demilitarized zone on the hard drive. So I had a uh, I had my Linux install and I had my Windows install. And in order to share between them, I set up a FAT32 partition, uh, a third FAT par FAT32 partition, because FAT32 is recognized universally by uh, Linux and Windows systems. So then I was able to uh, 
to transfer files or store files in one place and then no matter what OS I was on I was able to access that. Maybe that's something I'll have to do here again. Um, but I would, uh, yeah, something in my gut is telling me to just buy a, uh, a $30 SSD and then like a separate SSD and put, uh, put windows on that just to have it in its own space because I don't trust it. Functionally, there is something different. Now, if that Windows box gets uh, gets ransom weird, <clears throat> which is pretty unlikely, but you know, I'm just thinking about this. This is still Windows. <laughs> They've had plenty of uh, plenty of browse only, like zero, almost zero action, uh, zero action, zero days. <clears throat> People were going to uh, a slightly, uh, slightly hacked version of Yahoo, and then getting uh, getting exploited through a Windows or through an IE exploit. Yeah, literally, just open the browser and hit your home page, and you're done. You're owned. <clears throat> Maybe this will be a, a test run for a 30 second flag. I'll load it up, get it resized. And then, then when it's that small, I can probably run it in Blender. It get me fixing my hair in there. Yeah, we gotta, we're gonna include that in the edit. 